Set in war-torn Neo-Paris, the all-powerful corporation Memorize has turned memories into a commodity. Using Sensen technology, citizens store and upload their most private memories to the cloud, but in doing so have given immense power to the few in charge of this technology. The task of liberation falls to Nilin, a former memory hunter. Remix memories and alter the course of the movement in Remember Me, the stunningly beautiful title from Don't Nod. As Nilin, you have the ability to break into people's minds and steal or alter their memories. You awaken in Neo Paris's old Bastille prison, though, robbed of your past memories and set for a complete wipe before being rescued by Edge, the mysterious leader of the errorist movement. With no past memory, you're forced to trust Edge as he guides you to piecing back your memory and bringing down those in charge of Memorize. Who are you? I'm the voice you have to listen to if you want to live. The environment is easily the game's biggest tease. Don't Nod has done a remarkable job of reimagining Paris in the year 2084. Neo Paris is a glorious mix of old world charm and new world tech. These environments serve as nothing more than a backdrop to the game. Exploring the city is as simple as getting from point A to point B according to the pathway laid out for you. You can't enter shops or explore and there's nothing else to do but complete the main storyline. There's no sense of interaction as you mindlessly run through linear corridors. The majority of encounters in Remember Me are limited to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, but it's not a button masher. Rather, it's a rhythmic system that relies on carefully planned combos that you create yourself. In the game, there are four distinct types of abilities, or presence as they're called. Health regen, increased damage, cooldown reduction, and chains, which duplicate and double the effect of the previous presence. These pressings can be combined into combat chains to your liking in what is easily the most attractive feature of the game, the combo lab. In this lab, you can create and customize your own combos by unlocking new moves and combining them in predetermined orders to fit your playstyle. If you're looking for more damage, simply create a combo filled with only power pressings. If you're struggling to survive, you may want to opt for health regen pressings. The real fun in Tomb Raider Cyberpunk Edition, uh, I mean, the real fun in Remember Me's combat starts when you must creatively combine your abilities to take down waves of enemies with different defenses. Throughout the game, you'll be tasked with solving a few puzzles. These can range from anything as simple as following the pattern of a stolen memory or using your abilities to move objects in your environment. The most unique puzzles are the memory remixes. There aren't many of these, but they're definitely a welcome mechanic used at pivotal moments in the game's narrative. In these segments, you're tasked with remixing the target's memory. You'll first watch the entire original memory straight through before scraping backwards and forwards looking for memory glitches, or elements that can be altered to change the outcome of the memory. These memory remixes serve a much larger purpose than simply switching up gameplay. With no past memory, you don't know what to believe. With each altered memory, Nilin is faced with moral dilemmas. Her intentions are good, but her actions are questionable. Are the methods in which she goes about solving problems justified? Is what she's fighting for even a just cause? Is what you're supposedly fighting for actually what you're fighting for? Did what I just say make sense? Ultimately though, Remember Me has a lot of the same issues that plague many third-person action-adventure games. Poor camera angles, repetitive gameplay, and generic platforming experiences. And really, that's the majority of the gameplay. The sluggish combat often results in missed combo opportunities and wonky camera angles that can really mess with your jumps while platforming. There are some unique aspects to the game, but these refreshing elements are far underutilized. Remember Me is certainly an appealing title, making some bold moves and introducing some daring gameplay elements, but it doesn't offer enough of these risks to really make the game stand out. The beautiful art style, unbelievable voice acting, and Laura Croft as the main character make this a nice first step for developer Don't Know. We give Remember Me a 7.5. It's fresh looking, but the gameplay will probably trigger some deja vu. Thanks for watching!